Hi everyone, this is Hilary from Elements and today we're going to move through a 20 minute yoga class incorporating both seated and standing postures. Let's go ahead and get started. Begin by taking a seat in your chair and just start to anchor down through your sit bones. So maybe you shift your weight side to side a little bit really grounding down through your seat, and then walk your feet out about hips width apart. You might spread your toes wide in your shoes. And let's begin with a few deep breaths. On your inhale, you might sweep your arms up. And then on your exhale, let your breath go, arms come down. Let's do that again, breathing in, and maybe your arms just lift way up. Exhale, breathing out. Or maybe you don't use your arms at all and just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's do one more breath and see if you can breathe just through your nose. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Go ahead and start to adjust your shoulders. Circle those shoulders down and back. Draw the shoulder blades together and slide your shoulders away from your ears. With this nice, tall posture, you might go ahead and close your eyes Tuning into your natural breath. And just take a moment to scan your body from head to toe. Noticing if you're holding on to tension anywhere. And if you are, see if you can release that tension with your breath. Let's go ahead and bring our hands together in front of our heart and take a moment here to set an intention for your yoga practice. So you might invite in a quality that you'd like to work on. Maybe you want to invite more compassion or love into your practice, into your life. Maybe there's something that you're ready to let go of. Releasing feelings of doubt or insecurity. And then just take a moment to feel grateful for your body and for all that it does for you. And then on your next exhale, let your hands rest in your lap and open your eyes. On your inhale, slide your hands back towards your hips, tilt your pelvis forward. Really squeeze those elbows behind you. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, reverse it. Tuck your tailbone around your back, reach the arms forward. Feel the shoulder blades draw away from one another. Inhale, slide your hands back, lift through your chest, open your heart. Exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale, the cow spine. Exhale, the cat spine. Inhale, open your arms wide to a T. Exhale, close your arms. Let your back round. Inhale, open the arms wide. And exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale to lift just the right arm straight. Straight up. Exhale as you side bend to the left. Think about really anchoring through that right hip. And then switching arms. Inhale, the left arm lifts and the right arm lowers. Exhale, side bend to the right. And 
Inhale, fold the arms, reach high. And exhale, as you twist to the right, lower your arms down, reaching that left hand across. Maybe it rests on your right knee, or maybe it rests on your left knee. Shoulders are down and back, and you're twisting to the right. And anytime you do a twist, it's an opportunity to twist out the things you're ready to let go of. So twisting out fear, insecurity, doubt, so that you, you can create space for the things you want to invite into your life. Inhale back to center, sweep your arms up, think of all the things you have to be grateful for. And then exhale, this time we're twisting to the left, lower your arms down. Circle the shoulders down and back. Find your breath here. Notice how does your belly move? How do your ribs move as you breathe? Inhale, back to center, both arms reach up. And exhale to take a bow, sweeping your arms back as you hinge at your hips and lean forward. Finding a neutral gaze to keep the back of your neck long. Turning your palms towards the floor. And then let's try bringing the arms into a T position, keeping the palms facing the floor. You're working the muscles of the upper back here. And then you might bring your arms overhead into a Y position. And then let's go ahead and sweep the arms back, straight back. And inhale, sit up tall. Go ahead and let your hands rest in your lap. And walk your feet out wide. Let your right forearm rest on your right thigh. And inhale as your left arm reaches up towards the sky. So it's not just your arm that's lifting, you're also rotating your ribs, rotating your chest towards the ceiling or the sky. Exhale, thread your left arm under your right leg. Inhale, lift the arm, open your chest. Exhale, thread under and through. Inhale to lift. Exhale, under and through. On your next inhale, bring your arms back to a T. And exhale your left forearm to your thigh. Reach your right arm up towards the sky and then rotate your ribs. Exhale, rotating your chest towards the floor. Thread that right arm under your left leg. Inhale, open your arm, open your chest. Exhale, thread under and through. Inhale, open the arm, open the chest. Exhale, under and through. Flowing with your breath. Inhale, back to center. And this time, let's take a wide-legged bow. So keeping your feet wide, sweep your arms back as you hinge forward. Keeping the back of your neck lengthened. Pressing through your feet. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, relax your arms. Let's go ahead and walk both feet over to the right side of your chair. And you have the option to stay with both feet facing the same direction, or you can step the outside leg straight back. So you're stepping your left leg back and stacking the shoulders over your hips, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Inhale, that left arm reaches high. And exhale as you side bend towards the back of your chair. So see what you can relax in this pose. If you tend to tense your jaw or your shoulders, see if you can relax those muscles. See if you can tune into your breath. Let's 
Inhale, back to center, and exhale, reach that left hand across to your right knee, twist towards the back of your chair. Inhale, return to center, and walk both feet over to the left side. And you can stay like this, or you might scoot to the edge a little bit and step your right foot back. Stack the shoulders over your hips, draw your navel in towards your spine, and then inhale, reach that right arm up, and exhale, side bend to the back of your chair. You might see if you can tuck your tailbone under to deepen the stretch in front of your right hip. Inhale, back up, and exhale, reach that right hand across and down to your left knee, twisting towards the back. Inhale, return to center, and walk your feet back around to the front of your chair. We're going to stretch through the hamstrings now. So on your next inhale, extend that right leg long. Reach through the heel of the foot. Draw your toes in towards your shin, and maybe you already feel a stretch. Inhale, the shoulders back and down. And then exhale as you your spine long and not rounded. And you can let your hands rest on your thighs or you can sweep your arms behind you. So you're just breathing into the back of that right leg, feeling the stretch. And maybe as you breathe, you're able to hinge a little bit here, intensifying that stretch. And if your arms are swept back, you're also working on building those muscles in your upper back, which are so important for good posture. Inhale, sit up tall, bring your hands to prayer, and exhale as you twist to the left. So you can stay like this or open your arms, reaching the right hand forward. Exhale, your right hand down towards your right foot. Spiraling that left arm behind you as you open through your left ribs. And then inhale, come back to center and exhale as you twist to the right. Open your arms wide and reach the left hand across and down to your right leg. You might feel this stretch travel up the outside of your right leg as well as the back of your leg. Inhale, come back to center, bring your hands to prayer, and exhale, hug your right leg in. So you can hold onto the thigh or onto the shin, and you might circle the ankle out. Take your toes up and down side to side, and then go ahead and lower your foot to the floor. Doesn't that leg feel better now that it's stretched out a little bit? We're going to switch sides. So now the left leg extends long, reaching through the heel, drawing your toes in towards your shin, creating length. Inhale, circle those shoulders back and down, and then exhale to hinge forward. Stretching through the back of your legs. And again, your hands can rest on your thighs or you can sweep your arms behind you. Taking care to keep your shoulders from rounding. Keeping the neck long. Inhale, sit up tall, bring your hands to prayer, and exhale as you twist to the right. Stay here or open your arms wide, and maybe you reach that left hand down to your left leg. So 
surfing that right arm back. Inhale back to center, bring your hands to prayer. Exhale as we twist to the left. Open your arms wide, reach that right hand across and down. Again, maybe you feel the stretch travel up the outside of your left leg. Inhale, come back to center, hands to prayer. Exhale, hug your left leg in and circle the ankle. Take your toes up and down, side to side. And then go ahead and lower your foot to the floor. For this next part, you have the option to stand up. So if you'd like to stand, then walk your feet out so that they're hips width apart, preparing a nice, stable base. Inhale to reach your arms forward and exhale, pressing through your heels, straighten your legs all the way up to standing, and go ahead and step behind our chairs for extra support. Let's start with our feet out wide, wider than hips width apart, and angle your heels in and your toes out. Shoulders are back and down, drawing your navel in towards your spine. On your inhale, bring your hands to your hips, and exhale, bend into your knees. So we're coming into a wide-legged squat. So you might decide that you need to adjust your stance a little bit here. See if you can draw your elbows way back behind you, staying open through your chest. And we're going to inhale to reach your right arm up alongside your ear, and then exhale, side bend to the left. So you're both stretching and strengthening strengthening the endurance of the legs, stretching through that right side of your body. Inhale, switching arms, left arm lifts, right arm lowers. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, both arms lift. See if you can sink your hips a little deeper. And then exhale, press through your heels, straight your legs and lower your arms. Keeping your feet wide, go ahead and pivot your toes so that both toes are pointed to the right. And if you look down at your feet, you could draw a straight line from the heel of the right foot to, eat, to the arch of the left foot. Inhale, bring your hands to your hips, opening through your shoulders. And you might extend your arms wide to a T. On your next exhale, reach that right hand to the right and down. You can stack your left arm overhead. Coming into triangle pose here. And if this feels too intense, you can always back out of it, come up a little bit. Inhale back to center and exhale your left hand to your left hip. Inhale the right arm alongside your right ear and exhale as you side bend to the left. Inhale both arms come wide to a T and exhale lower your arms. Turn all ten toes to face the front. And again, we'll angle both heels in and both toes out. Inhale to circle sweep your arms up. And exhale for a wide-legged squat, bending your knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, wide-legged squat. Inhale, reach up, moving with your breath. Exhale to squat. Inhale, this time stay standing upright. Exhale, arms to your sides. We're going to pivot both toes to the left now. So your left toes pointing to the left and the right toes are angled to the left. 
Inhale your hands to your hips, squaring your shoulders to the front of the room. You can keep your hands here, or you can open your arms to a T for triangle pose. So this time I'll try it with my hands on my hips, just so you can see the different options. So on your next exhale, you're going to tilt sideways and keep that right shoulder stacked above the left shoulder. Two straight legs. And if you decide now you'd like to straighten your arms, you can. You can reach the left arm down. You might stack the right arm overhead. Again, if this feels too intense, you can always bring your hands back to your hips. You can back out of the posture a little bit. Inhale, come back to center. Arms come to a T. Exhale your right hand to your hip. Inhale the left arm up. And exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, both arms come wide. And exhale, lower your arms. And turn all ten toes to the front. All right, it's time to walk the feet back in and take a seat in your chair. You're going to inhale to reach the arms forward, and you might interlace your hands, turning your palms out around your back. Inhale to open the arms up wide, stretching through your chest. And exhale, arms down, keeping your neck long, tilt your head to the right. And then circle around to the left. Do it one more time. Take your head to the right. And then around to the left. Come back to center. Take a deep breath. And let it go. All right, it's time for our Shavasana. We've been practicing for 20 minutes, and we're going to end with five minutes in Shavasana. So go ahead and get comfortable in your chair, whatever that means for you. So if you need to grab a blanket, you need to put a pillow behind your back, go ahead and grab those things now. And then start to settle in. If you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. And just like it's important to practice moving your body to help stretch and strengthen it, it's also important to take time to just be still so that your mind and body can relax and let go. So for these next five minutes, see if you can just be a witness to your thoughts, watching them pass through without judgment. attachment. See if you can relax all the muscles in your face. And just barely flutter your eyelids closed.
Before you open your eyes, just take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice your breath. Notice your thoughts. Take a moment to feel grateful for the opportunity to practice yoga. And then when you're ready, you can let the light back in. stretch or two to wake your body back up and then when you're ready you might scoot forward in your chair sit up tall and we'll close our practice with one more deep breath together let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out thank you all so much for sharing your yoga practice with me namaste